Hi you guys, good morning. So I've been working the census and some of you guys know that and it's been a lot of work crazy. I've been all sorts of places, seen all sorts of things, but I wanna give you a little clue into how they do the census. So most of you guys hopefully know the census was happening and way back in the spring we were told about it. A lot of people received something in the mail. I don't really feel like I did, but then a lot of us received um, online things and we could go and submit our census online or send it through the mail because they had sent us a census envelope. And so a lot of people did that, but not everybody did that. And so for the people who didn't do it, they have been sending people out to try to go to homes and go to the house and talk to the people and and see um, their answers and get their census. Now, there's a lot of people who don't want to do the census. They don't want to be counted. They don't want to be in the in the group. They don't they don't want to be that. They're very um, non-responsive. Let's put it that way. Non-responsive. And some of you may be that way. They don't want to be counted. And so if we continue to try and try to count someone and we can't do it, then we need to um, do what they say, find proxies. So that means you try to find a neighbor or you try to find a friend or you try to find someone who might know something about how many people live in the house. And so you kind of widen the circle to try to reach those people and then you just have to start being creative. Real estate agents, uh, rental places, um, I've Facebook messaged some people, uh, just all sorts of different ways. Yeah, get creative to try to get those people counted, get them in and let them know that they're a part of this and get, get them in. So why am I telling you all this? Well, because as I was driving around doing this yesterday, um, I was thinking about how Jesus works with us. So Jesus invites us. He invites us to join him and to be in union with him, to, to belong, to be a part of the family of God. And the invitations can kind of start, you know, just kind of seeming a little straightforward at times, maybe in church, maybe at a youth event, um, maybe at some sort of retreat maybe a tract is given to you, whatever. It's just kind of a really upfront, here, here's your invitation. And a lot of people accept that invitation and take it and are just delighted to accept it and move forward in a life with Christ. But then there's some other people who are like, mm, I'm not so sure. I think I'm gonna lock the gates to my house. I don't really want someone coming in here. Um, I'm not really sure I'm comfortable answering these questions. I'm not really sure I'm comfortable letting Jesus in. I'm, I'm not sure that once he gets in, he's going to like what he sees and I might be embarrassed. So I'm not going to let him in. But God is the creator of creativity. And if you think back to your faith life, isn't it interesting the the ways he circumnavigated you sometimes. He came in a back door through a friend, through an acquaintance, maybe through a total stranger, maybe from some direction you had not even thought of or expected or were looking for God from. But that's the direction he came from. Because you see, God wants to count every single one of us. God wants every one of us to be a part of his kingdom, of his group, of his family. And so if you are finding yourself locking the gates, not answering the door, using avoidance techniques to get away from God, I'm just here to tell you that if we mere humans on the census can try to figure out ways to get in God who is so much more powerful, so much more imaginative and inventive and creative and loving. He's gonna get in. So why don't you just accept the invitation now? Open up, let him in, let him make you a part of his kingdom, his family, his circle of love. Thanks, have a great day.